Blake. So what are you working on today well, and for the next few weeks? Yeah, for the next three weeks, maybe a little bit longer, I'm starting a new mural over at the Sky Horse Hostel. And it's a 30 foot by 40 foot wall. Um, west facing and so it'll capture the sunset's glow and I'm really excited to start it. It's a, um, it's a large floral scene with a reflective sphere within it reflecting all of its surroundings and it'll be reflecting the sky which will have an inverted horse stretched out across the sky and reflected into the sphere it will look like a realistic cloud horse and it symbolizes the sky horse. Where did you get that inspiration to draw a sky horse from? Well, since I started um, doing murals, I wanted to make a representation of a modern seed. And so the ball bearing came to mind. And since we used to plant seeds um, as a civilization, probably a lot more than we do nowadays reflect everything around us and change everything around us. And so the sky horse is being reflected in the in the ball bearing and it reflects every like how every time you look in the mirror you want to align with your better self. And this building has had a rough history and it's finally getting to align with its full potential. And so the sky horse will be overcoming and jumping over the flowers and flying through the sky across the metal sphere. Awesome. So how many murals have you done at this point? And oh, how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing murals. Well, I, I did some small ones like a long time ago, a couple of them, but I've been mainly doing larger scale murals for the past six years. Um, I started in the Street Art Festival 2018 it was my first large mural and a year before that I did a utility box in the utility box program and that kind of really pushed me to do murals as long as I can. You're making it a, the area you live in a more beautiful place with all the art and everything too. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, what's your process for starting a mural? For like, do you want to walk us through everything you do from like yeah. prepping and laying out a grid to like keep scale and perspective? It starts out with a lot of design work, and I go back and forth with the client: what I want to portray, what they want to portray, what neighbors of the building want to portray, what possibly the city wants. There's a lot, of, a lot of heads get involved in it, um, and then after that I start some sketches, and then after I find out what kind of energy and what direction to go, I, I use those sketches to create a rough draft, and then, then a final draft, and then I take that and I, I do a transparency overlay over the building after I've done what would be called as a squiggle grid. And so I'll do some fun shapes over the whole building, or at least where there's, uh, there's objects that I need detail on. And then looking at my transparent overlay on my phone or tablet, I can see where everything lines up and I'll outline it. So it's a kind of a newer style of gridding that's been given to us through the technology of cell phones. So yeah, what's your timeline for this mural? Well. I'm looking at I'm looking at three weeks, 21 days. Realistically, it's probably going to take a couple days more. But um, I, I, I career. You know, um, I just had to. It was one of those things where the passions in me before I go to bed. I like I want to go paint something, and I used to paint till late, early hours of the night, and just that passion drove me to be an artist professionally. Um, yeah, it started as a hobby, just as almost like therapy, where I needed to exercise this out of my system. And I realized that this is just who I am. So, I just love to create. So, where are we right now? Could you tell us where we are? Right now we're in my art studio, at least the storage portion of my art studio. I like to call it the Rainbow Cave. 
Um, we got some of my smaller quarts of paint back here, some pre-mixed colors, and um, this is kind of where all the magic happens. Not only do I store my paint here, but I, I leave my used containers here. I let them dry out, and then I, I pull them out, pull the paint out, which is some fun ASMR sounds and feelings. So that's a, kind of a part of it that's less glamorous that no one gets to see, but it's kind of interesting. It's a, it's a pile. Yeah. <laughs> And um, your studio is part of many other studios in this building, right? It's kind of a, a mecca for artists here in Eureka. Yeah, yeah. I got lucky to get a studio in the C Street Studios up in the Hall Gallery. And there's some really good artists up in here. Some plein air painters, some impressionalists. Some of us are sculptors. Every, like every type of painter is up here. I'm really blessed to have this spot. Do you feel inspired by all the other art around you to keep going and yeah. innovate? Yeah, I sure do. And I, I, I'm inspired when I show up early in the morning and there's other artists already working. Like I see Stock Schluter over there already going at it. And it is inspiring, yeah. Camaraderie. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to tell us right now uh, uh, that you're excited about? or uh, Just that if, if you want to come check the mural out, it's on 3rd Street. Um, all right, Blake, so you're putting the finishing touches on this mural. How long has it taken you so far, you think? So this mural took me, start to finish, about one month of my time. 12 hour days? 12 hour days. You know, I took like one day off in there somewhere, but it was basically a very full month. Wow. So what'd you end up titling this work? So I ended up titling it Sky Horse Rising. And it kind of goes, um, it was named after an old bar in the 70s and 80s called the Sky Horse. And it's kind of kind of rough and tough and it didn't have its like the easiest, um, easiest reality dealing with itself. Um, it was a rough place. So the, the mural depicts like a big spherical mirror ball and it kind of represents how how every time you you look in the mirror in the mornings and you kind of visualize the better self you want to be and uh, you can see that in the mirror the, uh, the mural has a, a giant horse just galloping across the sky upside down and the reflection is a more of a uniform horse prancing it in the in the flowers and so it shows how beautiful you can make the world if you align with your better self and that this building's getting a chance to align with its better self now i like that yeah dude. gotta get the paint consistency perfect probably do the title a little bit smaller than my name 